Just a moment to get in. Friends, welcome to Riverside National Cemetery. On behalf of my director and the staff here, I would like to express to each of you our deepest condolences on the loss of your loved one. I would also like to thank you for choosing Riverside National Cemetery as your loved one's final resting place. And at this time, military honors will be conducted by the United States Air Force, which include rifle volleys, plane and taps, and folding and presenting of our flag. If you are sensitive to the loud noises, I do encourage you to cover your ears for the rifle volley. And if we have any past or present veterans, you may render one final salute during the plane and taps. As all others, please place your right hand over your heart. And family, at this time, the ones that are not standing, if you are able to, Please stand for military honor.
Sir, I would also like to present to you and your entire family the Presidential Memorial Certificate, just signed by our current president, and the shells from today's rifle volley that were fired in honor of your loved honor. Okay, sir. And family and friends, this does conclude the military honors portion of the service today. It's a little bit cold, so but although it might be cold outside, but hearts are lighted with fire and faith. I say goodbye to my friend because uh, I've, come, I've come to know the family, your present for the very first time, and, and I think it was your mom, mom Anna, Anna for that, who led me to the family and uh, all the way to the end. Uh, and as he was passing away, Jesus was present there in the Eucharist because we said a mass of the dying in, his, in, the, in the room where he was at the hospital. And so Jesus and Anna were there present all the way to the end. So it's a very, so it's a very holy death. And I'm glad that everybody's here to, to be witness to the blessings that uh, William and Mr. Keller, I always call him Mr. Keller, uh, received. So we will now commit, we will commit now his body to the ground and bless the casket as well. My brothers and sisters, as we begin this committal, let us start in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our brother, Mr. Keller, has gone to his rest in the hope of heaven, in the peace of Christ. May the Lord now welcome him to the table of God's children in heaven with his wife and parents. With faith and hope in eternal life, let us assist him with our prayers. Let us pray also for ourselves, for the family, friends, neighbors, all those who have known him throughout his life as well. And all the veterans too that are here resting in peace. That together we may meet Christ Jesus when he is our hope and he appears <coughs> in glory before us. Let us read the scriptures today. Scriptures, the of the a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, "Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God; have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many, many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you." I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I'm going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Gospel of the Lord. Let your hearts be troubled. Have faith in God. Have faith also in me, says Jesus. And we can be troubled by many things. But if we have our trust in our Lord, He will take care of everything. Because that's our trust. If we embrace the cross as we enter this land, He will He will care for us. He will take care of us. We have to just be patient. Open our hearts. This is why we, we come to Lent. This is why we have this time. For penance, and this is a penance right now with the with the cold that we're, we're experiencing. But as Catholics, we know that all our pain and anguish doesn't go to waste. It goes to the help others, for the redemption of others, for those who are they still need help. You know, we are saved in, in many aspects. Why? Because God has blessed us with the gift of faith, the faith that brought him all the way here, the, the faith of his wife Anna, the faith that all of us in our prayers. 
pray for him and pray for all those who have died. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Let the Lord do the work in our hearts. Let, let the Lord open your heart. Let him, let him come to you and bring you peace every day of your life. For all of you, now that we, we put Mr. Keller also, we commend him to the Lord, and we have a big open wound in there. Let now the wound be healed by God's touch. The Lord will come only if we wait for him. He will come with he will come like 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 the scripture says, like a thief in the night, when we less expect it. He's there. So the Lord will, the Lord comes to us in many ways. May God always console you. And may have blessed God. bless the, uh, the place where he's going to rest. So since we can't go over there, we will just bless it symbolically over here. <coughs> Lord Jesus Christ, by your own three days in the tomb, you hollowed the graves of all who believe in you, and so made the grave a sign of hope that promises resurrection, even as it claims our mortal bodies. Grant that our brother William may sleep here in peace until you awaken him to glory. For you are the resurrection and the life. Then he will see you face to face, and in your life you will see light and know the splendor of God, for you live and reign forever and ever. We will now commit him to the elements. Because God has chosen to call our brother William from this life to himself, we now commit his body to the earth. For we are dust, and to dust we shall return. But the Lord Jesus Christ will change our mortal bodies to be like his in glory. For he is risen, the firstborn from the dead. So let us commend our brother to the Lord, that the Lord may embrace him in peace and raise him up on the last day. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Father, will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Let us pray. God of holiness and power, accept our prayers on behalf of your servant, Mr. Keller. Do not count his deeds against him, for in his heart he desired to do only your will. As his faith now united him to you and his wife on her, uh, in heaven, so now may your fa family here, his family here, that are still on the earth may receive your compassion, consolation, and love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, for the perpetual light shine upon you. May God bless you. And please keep praying throughout this Lent for one another, especially for the Keller family. Uh, and uh, that we pray 
Crucifix, but there's three of you, so what do we do for? <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. You made it for Phoenix. Your family? Yeah. Uh -huh. How are you? Nice. I don't forget your cookies. <laughs> This does conclude the service here at Riverside National Cemetery. Your loved one's gravesite will be available after 4 p.m. today as the actual interment process is done in private. And we're open every day of the year from sunrise to sunset. If you ever come out and have trouble locating your loved one's gravesite, of course we're here to assist during hours and on off hours. We have a kiosk at our front administration building. And family, I want to thank you as you allowed me to be here with your family today honoring your loved one. Sergeant Keller, United States Air Force. Thank you, Fess. Yeah, you can.